<laughs> I gotta get this right. It ain't every day that I can cook up a bully base with sauce minuet. Something extra special for Sue. Now let's see. There's a pinch of rosemary. There's a pinch of basil. A pinch of oregano. A pinch of sesame seed. Mustard and custard. What tarnation do they expect? A pinch of mustard and a pinch of custard. <laughs> now they're talking. A pinch of mustard and custard. Holy mackerel. dish for Susan. I know when I'm licked. I'll bake her an apple pie with cinnamon on it. Hey, what's going on here? Pat here thinks he's a fancy French chef. Did you find out anything at the counter recorder's office? Well, yes and no. Well, now, what kind of an answer is that? Sounds like this receipt I've been trying to follow. Well, in a nutshell, there's a question about that ranch. Oh. Well, it's not too bad. Jim Wagner still owns a ranch if he paid the taxes on it while he was away. It seems like he put up enough improvements to satisfy the homestead law. Well, doesn't anyone know if he paid the taxes? Only the federal commissioner of public lands, and he's in Washington. The county recorder's wiring him to find out about it. In the meantime, I think John and Sue better stay here. Fine, Roy. Sue's taking a nap. John went out to feed his team. Oh? Well, I just went by the stables. The wagon was there, but there was only one horse. He must have saddled up the other one and gone for a ride. Funny he didn't say anything to me about it. That's what worries me. Roy, you don't think he'd be foolish enough to... There's no telling what a man will do when he's worrying about something. I think I'll take Bullet out for a run in the country. I'm going too. No, you're not. Somebody's got to look after the restaurant while Dale looks after Sue. Come on, Bullet. Gun. You don't have Rogers to help you now. I warned you, you're trespassing. I could kill you for that and no court would convict me. Look, this was my father's ranch. It's mine now. Was your father's ranch once. That's the only part you got right. I chased him out of here. He ran for his life. Take him, Chuck. Show them the kids are always better than the white. up about the body, but no bones broken, as far as I could tell. You reckon the Kents did it? Who else? Why, Chuck alone's twice as husky as John. Yes, I know. Mrs. Wagner shouldn't be told about this. Tell her his horse threw him, or he hit a branch riding, or something. It's important you don't frighten her now. If she has another shock, well, I won't be responsible. But the Kents won't get away with this. I don't expect they will, knowing you. But just what have you got in mind? Well, there's the law. Sure, when it works both ways. Suppose they can't say John Wagner was trespassing after being warned. What then? That doesn't give them the right to beat him up. No, but they did. And what's more, the law might even be on their side, especially if they can prove the Wagner ranch is theirs now. They can't prove it. Not until we hear from the commissioner in Washington. And you'd better wait until you do hear. I know how you feel, Roy. 
We'd better let John rest here a while, and then you can take him to his wife. All right, Doctor. Honey, should you be on your feet this way? Oh, sure. I need some exercise. Well, I don't know. I'd like to cook and keep house myself. I want to help you. You've helped John and me so much. Where is John? He should be back by now. Oh, he's all right. He's with Roy. John, what happened? Oh, the silliest thing happened, Sue. I, I was exercising one of the horses, Toby. Well, you know how skittish he gets. Well, he zigged when he should have zagged, and I hit a bomb and was brushed right off his back into a pile of rocks. Oh, John. I even had Roy scared. He insisted I go to the dock and be checked over. That's right, Sue. Doc Summer said I was fussy as an old hen with one chick. I'll get it. Hello? Yes? Okay, just a minute. It's for you, Roy. It's the county recorder. Maybe it's about that wire. I hope so. Hello, Pete. I got that wire from the commissioner in Washington, Roy. Well, go ahead and read it. It says that James Wagner has paid his taxes to date on his ranch in Paradise Valley. Has fulfilled all the requirements of the Homestead Act, and the property belongs to his estate without encumbrances. Well, thanks, Pete. That's just what I wanted to find out. Now, you hang on to that wire for the record. Bye. Well, John, now I can tell you about your father's ranch. Well, you own it lock, stock, and barrel. The Kents were bluffing, just as I suspected. Then they were trespassing on my property. That's right. I'm going to go out there and kick them off. Now, wait a minute, John. You have the law on your side now. Do it legally. Well, did they? Look, you stay here with Sue. Pat and I will take care of things. You'd better see the sheriff first. I want to see the sheriff, too. I'm going to swear out an assault and battery complaint against him. And you didn't fall into those rocks. You were beaten up. It's all right now, Sue. It's in the hands of the sheriff. That's right. The Kents will find a posse in their front yard. I want to go along to have the satisfaction of seeing him arrested. Must you? It'll be all right, Sue. Be careful, John. We won't be gone long. Come on, Pat. Sheriff. Where's your father? He's out. Out with the stock. Why, what's up? Wagner, come here. Is this the man that beat you up? Yes. That's a lie. No, it isn't, Chuck. I found John Wagner and took him to the doctor. All right, suppose I did give him a beating. So what? I found him on our property. This telegram says different. John Wagner owns that property according to the law. What's more, you're under arrest. Uh, if my dad was here, you wouldn't get away with this. We'll find your dad and tell him where you are, in jail. Where he'll join you. Come on. Get on your horse. Sheriff, Chuck's probably lying about where his father is, but I'll look anyway. I'll take him on to jail. You know, I'd kind of like to look for that old buzzard, too. Remember, he bit me. In just a minute, you take John on back to his wife. There's no use keeping her worried.